Hello and welcome to BISP Solution. The today's webinar is about Fusion Financial implementation in which we will do the accounts payable transactional process with use cases of BISP Group. So let's move to the today's agenda. In day three, the agenda is PO based invoice creation then we will see the payment creation process and creating payment process request right so that is the today's agenda so let us move to the next slide as per use case as per business requirement the purchase of computer and laptop and printer for the US Miami business unit with four way matching concept they want right so that is the requirement the business user has put so how to configure that thing in the application and how the tasks are performed in the application the transactional way we will see in that so let us move to the next slide in the PO con matching concept you got two-way matching, three-way matching and four-way matching. So if you say a two-way matching, the two-way matching means the invoice and purchase order which the two documents you have to match in which the criteria is to in invoice we match quantity and invoice price versus PO unit unit price and order quantity that is the two-way matching concept where you match the invoice with the purchase order with the invoice quantity and invoice price with purchase order unit price and order quantity that is the two-way matching in the three-way matching you got invoice purchase order and the receipt right so that is the three way matching the criteria is in invoice we check the quantity and the price and the purchase order we check unit price and order quantity and the receipt we check the quantity and the price also so that is the three way matching that is invoice with purchase order and the receipt of the material right so that is the receipt of material when you receive the material so you on the basis of receipt you enter the invoice as per right so that is the three way matching concept and in the four way matching you got invoice, purchase order, receipt and the inspection. Right. So out here the criteria is that is invoice quantity, the price and the PO unit, order quantity, receipt quantity and the price and accepted quantity. Out here we got an inspection where you inspect the material whether the material received in good condition or not on the, that basis you enter the invoice and make the payment to the vendor or the supplier. Right so that is the criteria you have. So as per the business use case they require The computers, laptops and printers for the, minor, for the US Miami business with a four way matching concept. So let us move to the next slide also. The flow of P2P in accounts payable. First we will create a requisition, right? So we will create a requisition 
and prepare the purchase order based on the requisition. Then we will prepare the receipt expected shipment through inventory management. Then we will prepare inspection receipt in case of four way matching and prepare put away receipt to the sub inventory, thus lowest level of the inventory or is sub inventory. Right, so that is the we will do in the application. Then we will enter the invoice based on PO number at the header level and use matching invoice line in the line level. We will now navigate to the application how the things are performed in P2P cycle. So let us navigate to that. So I am logging with the user credential. Through navigator, we will navigate to the procurement and out here the purchase requisition. We will select that purchase requisition. From more task, enter the requisition line. We will select the item so we will select desktop as the item and the price I will put as $250 and the quantity I will say 10 quantities are required right so that is the requirement so you can see the charge account is out here. So if you have any supplier which is you know to that supplier either you can add name that supplier or you can add to the card. preview the same so you can preview the same right if you want to add so that is the inventory destination and my sub inventory is this bisp underscore us 01 and to be delivered in bisp office florida that is miami dating the request date is today's date right so if it is urgent, you can mark as urgent or say no as per requirement. So we will use the simple use case and the requisition number is two, right? So requisition number is two. And so if you go to the manage approvals,
the system will approve the requisition right so that is the enabled we have to the application development framework will will approve the same right so that is the auto approval i have done so that and submit the same you can view the requisition it is pending for approval view in pdf you can view the pdf the requisition details Here we are. So you can see the requisition details. The requisition is two thousand five hundred US dollars. Value worth value of two thousand. Two thousand five hundred dollars, and the item name is this BISP one zero one group, and the desktop is the description of the material, and the quantity is ten. The each price is two two hundred fifty dollars. It is pending for approval. go to the manage approval requisition and out here we will select the miami and the requisition number is 2 so you can see requisition 2 is pending for approval wait for a two one or two minutes it will get approved and its status will be open right so pending for status is pending for approval it will be become a uh, open status will be open and we will view the life cycle of the requisition right so let us re navigate is still pending for approval so you can view one approval which i have already created so it has you can view the life cycle of that particular approval the two receipts has been created with a quantity with a 10 right so that is amount has been paid one of the amount has been paid and one is not paid so unpaid amount is showing up right so that is the unpaid amount still taking a time it will just take a bit of time
so you can see the previous which I have already created the purchase order out here you can see the purchase order we have created and the order has been delivered received right and invoiced the status has been closed now can view in the PDF also that is the purchase order right so that is So you can see the status has been approved. Right, so that is desktop has been approved, status has been approved. If you go to the life cycle, right, so requisition. Now we will create. Now we will create a purchase order against that requisition, right? So let us do that. The requisition number is two. Now from the navigator, let go to the purchase order. So you can see a request a requisition line is there, right? So let us go to the manage process for requisition. You can select that or you can view the requisition line. And search with requesting view requisition 2 search so here we are we will select the same so we are landing on the purchase order select the same and add the document builder requisition line we are creating the add to document builder builder select the same add to the document builder so we will add the supplier who is the supplier of this material let's say Dell is the supplier right so select the same and say ok and we will create the PO So we are creating the PO, the purchase order is BISP 102 USLE, right? So that is the number we are getting, that is BISP 102 USLE and the supplier is Dell INC and the currency is in USD, right? So order value is $2,500 and the material is desktop right so let us go to the lines out here supply item i will provide that item as desktop desktop and each quantity 
discount if there is any discount you can uh, give the discount out here i am not giving any discount out here and out here you have to provide the requested shipment date right the requested delivery date or promise date right any of that particular date you have to provide so i will say I will provide the today's date. Right, so shipping method. You can provide the shipping method. I will say DHL. Right, so my destination is inventory and my sub inventory. And the method. the matching method is as per use case it will be a four way right so that is the four way method matching method they want right so the four way matching method the po charge account going to the schedules request date and the promise date you can provide any of that thing request shipment date or promise date if you have any tolerance days you can provide that right so that is the and the receipt routing method is we will select as inspection right so as soon as we inspection required then the matching method for will be there if i select a standard receipt method then it will be a two way or three way as earlier we had discussed in the slide what is two way method in two way method that invoice and purchase order is matched and three way you match with the invoice with the purchase order and the receipt right so that is the three way matching concept and the four way matching we match with the invoice purchase order receipt and the inspection note right so that is the the criteria as per the use case we will select the inspection required and we will select the four way right so that is the required as per the case we have discussed and and the distribution combination go to the distribution so out here you can see the po charge account is out here the po accrual account and po variance account right so that is the account and let us submit the same go to the manage approvals again the purchase order number you can see bisp102 out here also it will auto approve i have done the auto approval configuration for that so let us submit the same the submit the same Yeah, the purchase order number has been submitted for approval. This is the purchase order number. Let us 
review our purchase order the order number we will put and search it down it is showing the pending for approval wait for a while it will get approved so you can see so it is open now it is approved right so it get approved the you can see the status is open you can view the life cycle right so that is the life cycle of this purchase order we have created an order pending for fulfillment action so as soon as the material will receive we will create a uh, inbound related transactions so let us navigate to the inventory management to receive the material so first we will we have prepared the requisition we have prepared the purchase order based on the requisition now we will prepare the receive expectations shipment through inventory management right so let us navigate to that so out here go to inventory let me supply chain execution that is the supply chain execution out here inventory management so let me change the the in inventory org that is my inventory org that is this is my inventory org apply the same so you can see the line awaited one line receipt is awaited right so let us navigate through here we will select receipt show task as receipt receive the receive the expected shipment select that and select the purchase order so let us provide the purchase order and search with that purchase order so select the same and receive right so you will receive how much quantity you have ordered as per our requirement we have ordered a 10 quantity and as per demonstration i will select 10 quantity i have received right out here you will not able to get sub inventory right so that sub inventory will not be there and create the receipt right so you can create the receipt so selecting the details other details required details is already filled i am filling only the required details and submit the same the receipt 504 is been created with a line 1 so expected shipment the receipt has been created 504 is been created and let us now inspect the receipt right so that is the four way matching now receipt number is 504 either you can query with the receipt number or the purchase order number 
I am querying with the receipt number. Search with that. So here you got the inspection, right? So that is the inspection. Select that same and select the inspection. So you acceptance quantity, you provide the acceptance quantity. You can provide the acceptance quantity as 10 and or you can say uh, action out here and split line. If you want to split line, then say one quantity is damaged so that I want to split that line and I will accept the nine and I will reject the one. You can do so. But as per use case, we will not reject any of that material as the material has been received. 10 quantity has been received in a proper condition. So that is the excellent I am saying. Excellent condition and submit the same. So inspection transition has been created. Now done with that. The inspection has been done. You can query the inspection out here with the receipt number 504. Search with that. Just hold on. So you can see that accepted quantity is this, right? So select that. If you want to have any correction, you can do the correction out here, right? So that is the, so I don't want to do any correction out here. Now the inspection has been done. Now we want to prepare, put away, reset to our sub inventory, the lowest level of the inventory. So we will select and put away, right? That will move the material to uh, sub inventory. 504, I am selecting the same query with that. Yeah, so you got that inventory out here, the item and so you can see the details of sub inventory right so inspection required quantity is excellent right so that is the i will select the same and put away now i will get the sub inventory out here this is my sub inventory and 10 quantity i will move to my sub inventory that is bsp underscore us 01 that is the sub inventory and this is the location I have provided the delivered location is this right so that is the Florida and submit the same so material has been received and and inspected and as well as put away has been done to sub inventory now we will move to the invoice work workbench in the tables invoice workbench on the task panel we will select create invoice Let us create a one invoice and the PO number BISP. So that is the second one, right? So that is the PO number 102. So you can see the everything is populated, the business unit and the 
supplier right so that is popul auto populated as per the po and i will provide the invoice number that is i will provide the i will record the invoice details say 7050 that is the invoice number and the amount is 2500 and i will say desktop computer right so i will change the payment terms i can change the payment terms to immediate so that we can view the next task that is payment profile right so that is the one task we will want to see that so i am taking the we can override the payment terms right so by default it's 21030 30, and you can override as per the requirement so that is the immediate payment terms i am selecting and out here in the line the matching invoice lines select the same so select the line the term has been changed so 10 right so we have selected the same 10 quantity we have received you can see accepted quantity is 10 ordered quantity is 10 available quantity is 10 right so we will select that and apply okay and say okay if you go to the distribution so you can see the distribution line also right so that is the distribution line and save and close now we will save the invoice you can see the approval is required and we had not validated right so let us validate the same so i will post approve the approval so you can see the manual approval approved is done right so that is the this is the way you can record the invoice with a purchase order right so that is how we will do in the application so if i navigate to the purchase order we are not made the payment of that right so let us navigate to manage orders and our requisition number or order number you can search with that requisition number 2 search with that delancy and searching with that i really should show 
it is not showing now. Manage order I should show basically. So you can see the view details. So if you go to the order life cycle, the order has been executed, received, delivered and invoiced, right? So if you go to the details, view details, so you can see this, right? So invoice details, so you can see that validated, right? So invoice detail is being mentioned out here and you can see the paid amount is still unpaid right so you out here you can see the whether it has been paid or not you can check it down with that so the receipt is any return is there invoiced open in to the invoice it is received and delivered now the invoice has been received the payment has not been made and match the amount with that right so that is the life cycle of that particular PO. We had not made the payments. So let us, now we will move to the payment. The next topic which in the webinar is payments, payment creation process and create payment process request, right? So we will see how to create the payments. Now navigate to the Payables in the payments workbench. Let us move to the payments workbench. Out here we will select. You can create the template. So if I go to the manage template and name with the BOA, search with that. I have already created a one template that is. BOA electronic process US BISP pay group. I've used that US BISP pay group. That is a lookup group we have created. So using that lookup group and the my criteria I already provided that is payment process. The basis will be PD and the earlier payment I am selecting yes. And the specification I am using the BISP pay group. I can select that BISP pay group. If I group that particular particular group using that group, I can make the payment. And the method I am using as electronic, right? So that is different criteria I have provided. And the specific legal entity I have selected that is BISP solution, right? So that is only that is specified in that or I can use the business unit also and source also various source as per source that source you can use if I select the source if I get add and the source that is different sources I can use that right so that is the source I don't want to use the source I select the all and in the payment and process option I selected my disbursing bank right so that bank has been configured and the payment process profile right so that payment process profile I have configured I am using this and the payment conversion if I any foreign currency related transaction is there then it will ask for conversion rate conversion that is I am using the corporate rate and corporate rate type out there you should update your rate conversion rate right so cross currency rate type I am selecting the same as corporate 
and out here the processing options I am selecting the review proposed payment enable that review the installment if there is any installment it will review stop for review for that and then will it will create a file create file payment file immediately right so that is the criteria I am selecting and save and close okay and now we will create that is the template manage pro, uh, payment process template now let create a payment request let give the name as t23 d1 right t23 d1 that is the request name i am giving and i will select the template as my template as BUA template right selecting that same and out here it get auto populated and I'm selecting the other things are okay selecting the criteria uh, let's submit the same the name is t t23 d1 right so that is the underscore d1 i am submitting the same let us review manage payment request the name is search with that pending for installment selection right so let us here we are t23 d1 pending for installment selection action seven invoices has been selected So you can see there is the one invoice which we have right now entered right so that is Dell 7050 which is has we are changed to immediate one immediate payment terms right so 21030 we have changed to the immediate one so uh, see all the things is okay if you want to add installment you can add the installment so earlier payments you can go to the earlier payments also you can add in add the details more details you can add if you go to the add installments uh, i don't want to add any installments right now i'm okay with that So if you see the payment currency in USD are 6 and 1 in GBP right so that is 1 in GBP and submitting the same I am ok with that let's review the same It's building up. Just hold on. Here we are. If I go to manage payment process request, T search with that. So pending proposed review. So these are the invoices, right? So that is 
invoices if i want to cancel this one i can do so i just remove that particular gbp remove this so i can remove that and everything is okay now and let us make the payment of that one payment has been removed it is showing one payment has been removed gbp right so the bank account is not showing off that's why i have removed that and resume the payment process now let us review again the process right so waiting for pre uh, payment process one rejected six we have done so if we go no out here we can review our process sending the remittance yes if we go and see again review the same the process let us provide the number and search with that have you it has been stage has been completed and you can view the file confirmation format so you can see the the process has been completed the payment has been made and the payment amount is 269 for this pay that is this computer advance system proprietor martin and dell inc right so that is the payment reference has been generated the two preference and the payment view you can view the payment details have ya the invoices number are there the payment details you can drill through and check the details right so and this is related to this uh computer advance system proprietor martin and one dell inc so document so these are the invoices which we have made the payment right so we are done with that right so this is the way you can process the payment and we have made the payment successfully right so let us now navigate to that particular po and we will see how the things will show when the payment has been done so let us navigate to that po manage orders search with that to the purchase requisition so we through the requisition have ya order so if i go to the details of that particular order right so 
you can view the details right so that is how the things and status is been closed right so status has been closed and we have made the payment right so that is done so you are now you can see this life cycle so invoice total invoice has been and it has been paid unpaid amount nothing is unpaid amount match to the orders is this if you drill down to the invoice also so you can see the invoice detail in the invoice workbench right so that is how the things are performed in the application so thanks that's it for today thanks for joining the webinar on ap related transaction in fusion application thank you